Hey y'all, I'm David Arrigo Jr. and this is my five question interview. Question one. What quote do fans ask you to add to their autographed items the most? Pro uh, defi it's definitely a Phineas and Ferb quote and usually it's in response to uh, Vince oftentimes puts down, hey, where's Perry? And I go, oh, there you are, Perry. So that's, that's probably the most common. Question two. Can you share a funny or memorable moment from a recording session? Oh, man. So, uh, recording Mojo for X-Men 97, um, we actually did three different versions of the character. We did, uh, you, usually in, in recording you do like an ABC take, but they're, they're basically the same character with just some different inflections, some different thoughts, um, but it stays pretty much within a, within a range. With Mojo, we decided to essentially do three different performances. One where it was like Ghostface from Scream, one where it was like Robin Williams from Aladdin, and one where it was like Jim Carrey playing Robotnik on drugs. Um, and so each take, the A take, or each line, the A take was one, the B take was another, the C take was another. And that was one of the most fun and schizophrenic sessions that I have ever done. Just a blast. Question number three. How do you bring unique traits to each character you voice? I'm a weird person. Um, that's how. It just, it comes naturally to me. Uh, my brain is so beautifully broken uh, that it just put me very well set up to do this job. Question number four. What's one piece of advice you'd give to aspiring voice actors? It is more important to be a great actor than to have a bunch of different voices. Um, variety is great, but being a great actor is going to give you a lot more work. Um, oftentimes if I've got like a booth director or somebody helping me with an audition, um, when I finish multiple takes, instead of asking, hey, did they sound different? I will ask, hey, did they sound like they think differently? That's far more important, even if you're using the same voice. After I saw it, yep, after I saw it, hmm. I was like, Question yeah. number four. That was pretty heavily worked. What like, role uh, was your big break? I think Ferb has kind of been my skeleton key. Uh, he's the one that's gotten me into a lot of rooms. Um, I did this other uh, show called uh, Ridley Jones, and I played a, a, a dodo bird called Dudley, and he's great. And when I went in for that audition, I walked in, and uh, the um, casting director turned to the showrunner, and she says, uh, this is David, he's the new Phineas. I go, Ferb, she goes, Ferb. And um, immediately the showrunner goes, Dan and Swampy, I love those guys, and comes up and gives me a hug. That, that kind of wall breaking down is uncommon. Um, so Ferb has been a big, big thing. And, and the show that I just mentioned, uh, Ridley Jones, because of that booking, I wound up uh, getting an Emmy nomination. So uh, Ferb got me there, Dudley got me across the line, and uh, I'm just so lucky to be able to do it. Oh, and look at that. There was one more card, but I got lost in reveries. If you want to find me, I don't know why you would, because I am terrible. Uh, <laughs> you can find me on Twitter or Instagram uh, at Arigo Voice. Um, so it's my last name. Voice. Pretty easy.